Just tell them where we're at, Lisa. Fishing. Where we at, bud? We're at Campbell Lake Preserve. Yep. I oh. And we're gonna be fishing and see what we catch. Hey guys, welcome to part one of our bank fishing trip. We're here at Campbell Lakes Preserve. I got the family and the kids with us and we got some special guests today. Thank you. Got some special guests today. What's up everyone? There's Jeff and John, J&J &J Catfish Anglers. And then you got Everett here with a lot of fish and TV. You guys came all the way down from Toledo, Ohio to fish with us today, so we're going to make a good day of it and try to get them on some nice fish. It's already a good day. I guess, you keep, I guess you keep this with you. Oh, yeah, you keep uh, one stub okay. with you. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll we got the kids you. with us. Hi. Got Alyssa. Yeah. And then my son I'm Andrew is sitting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to try to help us catch some bait so we can get some monsters later, and there's some secret catfish in here that people don't know about we're going to try to get to. And I brought extra stuff. Stay tuned. Where are we, Andrew? We're in the woods. Huh? What feels like right now? Feels like the woods. Uh oh. Hey, you're hitting me with all the weeds, man. You're hitting me with all of them. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, yeah? Almost there. Getting in the sticks. Getting in the sticks. You guys think this is a long hike? Try going fishing with Chris Flores. Right? Alright guys, welcome back. We're at spot two. We just come back from uh, Campbell's Lake Preserve. Now we're at a creek, a haunted creek, for that matter. Rumored to be haunted. Well, this way? is Lick Road. We're gonna go that way. Oh, Some ghost stories here we'll tell road. you. Yeah, uh, this is Lick Road. I get into all that stuff. This is a haunted creek. We'll tell you some stories once we get down there and we get set up. But you should have just seen the look I'll on that big stories. grown man's face <laughs> when Everett said. Haunted <laughs> Creek. Haunted Creek Chubbs. One time me and my brother came up here and we actually caught about five dozen creek chubs and by the time we got back up to the car they were all dead that's the first and only time that's happened though <laughs> we're gonna head down to this creek bed stay tuned in a few seconds you'll see us down there we're gonna get on some bait see you soon I'm gonna try to carefully pop these rocks and follow Everett. Oh. I'll hang here. Yeah. 
the hell is that? What? I think the bone. Maybe it's the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> So the last time I was down here at my brother, that lower flood dam there, there was a, uh, a baby doll laying on its back, like an old raggedy, what do you say, like Cabbage Patch Kids type doll. And we went upstream around the bend to fish for a couple hours, and when we came back, the baby doll was, it was laying on its back, and then it was flipped over laying on its belly and we were the only ones down here so it was just really weird that the doll changed position and then by the time we got up to the uh back to the car all the creek chubs were dead so i guess that doll didn't like us taking bait there you go there you go yeah. Don't. There we go. Sacre bleu, monsieur, let me go. Jeff got a crawl, Dad. Oh, hey! Bullhead! Bullhead? Bullhead! And he swallowed it. Those are the kind of bullheads that'll hurt you. <laughs> Them little tiny fins. That's a bullhead. He's got a. He don't have a forked tail. Mouth is shaped like a flathead. Yep. Little tiny yellow bullhead. My son Andrew calls them ninja fish. Ninja fish. Hey, you know what they, I hate to say, but that sounds, that sounds like a copper. They're in and out off your hook quick. Oh, good one. That's you? Oh, I thought he was I thought he had I thought I had something too. <clears throat> this is like a mini game. Yeah, it is. At least we should say we got some. Yeah. We pretty much everything we went for so far as far as state wise. Well, we got our bait. Not as much as we wanted. But we're gonna make good with it. Now it's time to go after what these guys really came down here for. Some big catfish. Follow along with us. Story time with Everett. All right, so there was a, there was one time I was I used to work on uh, aquarium decor and I used to uh, you know design aquariums and stuff like that. I remember I walked outside in the back um, door and I was you know working on some of that stuff. I was kind of dumping some of the rocks off to the side of the house or whatever. And I remember I heard a distinctive noise, but I never paid attention to it. You know, it was, it was faded. You know, you don't really worry about it. Let's think you know. Um, I'm still working on this. I decided to look down at my feet and there was a skunk smelling my toes. I jumped, it jumped. The first thing I do was scream <laughs> like I saw a ghost. I wish I can, you know, demonstrate that in here, but I can't. Maybe I will. So I ran in the house nah, I and I got like... the, I got the smell in all, I got the smell in my clothes. I'm like, did he get me? Did he get me? Did he get me? No, I guess he just wanted to be a friendly skunk. I don't know, no but that was a story. For you. Huh? No tomato bath for you. You said what's what? No tomato bath for you. Yeah. I'm, I got a I got a similar one about a coon. We was, I was sitting on my my break table at lunch, was outdoor picnic table, smoking a cigarette, you know. And I feel something rubbing up against my leg, and I thought it was a stray cat because there's cats all over there. I thought it was just a cat rubbing up my leg, and I looked down, and a big old 
fully blown out adult raccoon, big old fat raccoon. I'm gonna tell you something. They're just looking up at me. Me, my, I my soul. My skin. Let me see. I'll tell you something. My soul would have still been sitting at the chair with my body floating <laughs> all across the land. I think at that moment I'd be able to walk across, run across the water. Yeah, I was, I was gone. I never just shoes. Mm -hmm. I never forget. I ran I from a dog. Inside. I ran from a dog. I was running so fast. I remember my feet came off the ground <laughs> because I must have hit a hill or something. But I was floating. I was like, Go. and that, and that, I don't know. I don't like animals. Animals. Are you talking? Make me about nervous. The time you was with me? No, I jumped the gate on that one. <laughs> and laid it on my back. But I don't care. I got over that gate. <laughs> That's story time.